Hello there guys and welcome to our first episode of Hearts of Iron 4. Today we're going to be playing as Canada, getting the friend in need achievement. So Iron Man mode on, historical AI focus is off. Okay, let's go. Yeah, save and play. Perfect, okay, they should get rid of all of these that are not important for what we're trying to do. Okay, since we are playing as Canada, first thing we have to do is, in order to get the achievement, we have to disband from the Allies. And we'll be rejoining them, but we first have to disband from them, otherwise it doesn't count for the achievement. So, we're going to Diplomacy. We go... And I'm going to do this partially as a guide. In your case, will be different depending on what faction you're in, or even if you're in a faction. If you are in a faction to start out with, like, say, you're playing as Canada, you start in the Allies, and you're starting naturally in the Allies, go to your faction leader, which in this case is the United Kingdom, and the faction. Now, let's see, ask to join faction. Now, technically, you could ask to join faction straight away if you wanted to. Um, technically, okay, so. No, actually, you can't because. So. There will be different requirements depending on what faction you're trying to join and their ideology. Um, pretty much as long as you don't make your opinion go lower with them, you should be fine. You will lose opinion if you are join or joining to them and then disbanded from them. You will technically lose opinion. Because it considers you a fucking traitor or something like that. Um, so now all you have to do is just sit back and wait because rule attention will eventually hit 80%. Okay, pretty much always does. Uh, I've never had it happen to me. There might be a bit of a luck of the draw type thing. Sometimes the US or the UK or someone who takes them over decides to attack Canada randomly because of the whole historical AI focus is being off. That they just playing a free play for people to attack Canada or whatever country you're playing as. So all you do is just sit back and wait. You'll pretty much have to do waiting no matter what. Because you either have to wait for real attention or if you're trying to join the Axis as a previously ally nation, you'll have to do some Things to make sure your your fascism popularity is high enough. And you also need world attention if you are a democracy. Um Yeah. One thing I will say, you can pretty much almost immediately get this achievement right from the game start if you're playing as a country which is fascist. 
because what you can then do is because there's the annual world attention limit for factions for fascists or communists you can then basically unjoin any faction you're already in and then rejoin that faction like almost immediately later you might have to improve relations a bit but beyond that it's pretty much immediate and now we just wait we have to wait for world teaching to build which could take a while So unfortunately, you may be here a while. So I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna pause here and wait to get the right amount of world attention. Okay, and now that we have hit our criteria, now we're going to do is diplomacy. I'm just going to start it just for the sake of starting it. Slow it down. I'm going to ask to join faction. Send. And we are done. Your results may be. Oh, look. Ah! Your results may vary. Okay, so, anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe for more great content, and goodbye.